It's Ruby back again with another Vegas guide video. Now it's no secret that Vegas can get expensive. Between the shopping, dining, and of course gambling, you may be thinking, what can I do that doesn't cost me money? Well, today I'm gonna be giving you the list of all of the best free entertainment on the strip. These are things that are completely free, and more importantly, really fun and worth your time. I'm gonna take you along, we're gonna show you all of the strip, as well as a couple bonus downtown spots. Let's go to our first place. I let you treat me just for me, baby. Just for me. When looking for free things to do in Las Vegas, the Bellagio has got you covered. There is so much to see in here with no charge at all. I'm gonna take you to one of my absolute favorite free things to do in Vegas right now. So let's go. Just because I We've made it to the Bellagio Conservatory. Here you can come to take some amazing pictures, enjoy the wonderful smells from all the fresh flowers. This is one of my favorite places to come, especially at night. It's very quiet at night and it looks even more beautiful with all the lights. The Bellagio Conservatory changes five times a year to reflect the seasons and the new year. Anytime I come in here, I just feel like I'm in heaven. I love this spot and it's completely free to come and see. The conservatory is not the only free entertainment here in the Bellagio. There's another really awesome site just past it over here. Here in the Bellagio Patisserie, we have the world's largest chocolate fountain, Guinness Book of World Records winner, white, dark, and milk chocolate all present. And if that makes you hungry, don't worry, the patisserie does serve all kinds of chocolate goodies for you. Stop takes us inside Caesar's Palace to the Forum Shops. Now I know shopping isn't free, but window shopping is. And this is not your regular shopping center. This mall is gorgeous, beautiful views and sightseeing to be had. Let me show you around. Forum shops here. They have the Fountain of the Gods surrounded by the Trevi restaurant. A beautiful place to take a photo. There's one more place to go, and it is a cool, free animatronic show. Let's go check it out. The Atlantis show is about to begin. Here we have some angry gods and goddesses hitting it out to rule Atlantis. It's kind of cheesy, but a very cool thing to come and check out nonetheless, and it's completely free. Starts at 12 and goes until 8 p.m. every hour. After you've toured Rome at the Caesars Forum shops, it's time to head to Venice. We're here at the Venetian in the Grand Canal shops. You're gonna find more fine dining, shopping, and entertainment as you look around at the beautiful canals running through the entire mall. It's just an absolutely gorgeous place to take some photos, walk around and explore, window shop. You're gonna have an amazing time. It's not like any other mall you've ever seen.
I have a bonus round here for you guys in free entertainment, and that is to check out some hotel lobbies. I know that doesn't sound super entertaining, but in Vegas, every hotel lobby is done to the nines. They're all very beautiful, places to stop and take some pictures and explore. I highly recommend you go and check out a few of the lobbies, especially here at the Wynn and over at the Bellagio. They're stunning. Our next stop for free entertainment here on the Strip, probably my favorite spot. We're taking you to the Wynn and we are gonna watch the Lake of Dreams show. Now the show runs at sundown and it goes all the way until midnight. You can watch it in several places here at the Wynn. We are up on the North Terrace. This is the free spot. They do serve the cocktails here, but it's totally free to come right up here and watch the show. They also have Parasol Down, one of my favorite bars and lounges to stop and watch the show. Or you can eat at one of the two lakeside dinner places to watch the show as well. It is one of my absolute favorite places to be. I won't lie to you, coming during the day is actually also incredibly relaxing and beautiful too. The next stop on our free entertainment brings us to the Flamingo. We are here at the Flamingo Habitat, a completely free exhibit showcasing all of these beautiful birds. It's peaceful, tranquil back here. It's a great place to take pictures. If you're an animal lover like we are, you will absolutely love this spot. Another stop on our free entertainment journey is going to bring you to the Volcano Show. This is in front of the Mirage. It is an absolute must do at night. It goes on at seven all the way to 11 every hour on the hour. And if you stand back here by the lobby of the Mirage, you can actually feel the fire hitting you in the face. It's awesome. It's a better spot to watch than over on the street. Highly recommend Pro Tip. Our next stop of free entertainment takes us South Strip. We're starting here in New York, New York, where we are gonna try out one of the fun novelty stores on our list, the Hershey's Store. If the Hershey store didn't give you enough of a sweet tooth, don't worry, you can go across the street next to the MGM Grand to the M&M store where everything M&M takes place. Let's go take a look. Now we're talking free entertainment. Look no further than Fremont Street. First of all, all you gotta do is look up. Viva Vision runs shows every hour at night, showing all kinds of cool visuals. It's a trippy experience. It makes it look gorgeous here at night. Second of all, free concerts. All on weekends, they're always playing free concerts here at various stages all throughout the Fremont Street experience. Basically, come down to Fremont, look around, you're gonna have a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on free entertainment in Vegas. Comment down below anything I missed. What is your favorite free thing to do while you're in Las Vegas? I hope to see you guys all in my next video where we cover more awesome Vegas content. See ya.